and let your body do its work. There's a feel-good chemical called serotonin, and you only make it at night while you sleep. And if you're not really sleeping well, or if you're not in a deep sleep, you're not making enough, so you don't feel good the next day. And when your serotonin levels are low, you've all heard of cortisol. Cortisol is a stress hormone, right? And cortisol can really mess us up. Our sleep, our moods, we get momentum, um, you know, padding, I'll say padding, <laughs> around our <laughs> organs, which is not really healthy for us. So we want to make sure that we get the sleep so our cortisol levels are all even. And when our cortisol is high, we get cravings for carbohydrates. We want Cheetos and goldfish and chocolate chip cookies, anything that we can get that quick metabolizing sugar for energy. So with that energy boost also comes the low and risk of diabetes. When we're sleep deprived, we're also stressed. We don't handle situations very well. Our amygdala, which is part of the brain, actually shuts down the prefrontal cortex. And that's the part that's responsible for decision making. So you know, when you're tired, it's really hard to make a decision. You're stressed, your body just shuts down. So if you really want to get enough sleep, like nine hours, I've been divinely guided to say, nine hours is what we all need. And if we're not getting nine hours, if you can, and if you want to increase it, two nine hours, you adjust your bedtime by about 30 minutes and have good sleep etiquette. You go to bed at the same time and you get up at the, at the same time the next morning.